Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. L-O-V-E Love, the new millennium password. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, John chapter 15 verse 12. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Second lesson, John 14 verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Golden text, John 4 verse 21. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when he shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Quote, Brethren, that is the theme of our lesson this morning. What you have heard is the word of God. Whatever you are called, or whatever you call yourself, Bishop, Pope, Reverend, Jesus, Pastor, Prophet, etc. What we have to do is to love one another even as he loves us. The New Covenant and Commandment. It is not a new thing to pray. Neither is preaching new. Songs, dances, and visions are not new. But the new covenant is that we love one another even as he loves us. If you say you believe fervently in our Lord Jesus Christ, why then do you fail to practice his commandment? All those who say that they believe in and hope on the Lord have complied with his commandment. Whatever you do except you love one another as Christ loves you, you have succeeded in doing nothing. For somebody to claim he or she founded a church, what is the name of that church? What type of leader do you think you are to claim to be a leader of a church? You claim you are God. What type of God are you? The foundation of the building has been laid. Love is the beginning and the end of God. If you do not love your brother, what do you preach? Therefore, brethren, the most important assignment for you and I and the call that has been extended to us consists in this gospel. God's commandment is to love one another as he loves us. Even if you raise the dead and cause the lame to walk, except you love every person as our Lord Jesus Christ loves you, you have done nothing. Brethren, what we are saying now is something in the physical. That is, what you see with your naked eyes, even as we are sitting down here, it is neither about vision, grammar, nor does it require essay writing or rhetorical expression. This is the reason I told you that I have not come to found a church or prayer house or healing home. I am not Jesus or Christ or God. I have come to reorientate your minds about what Christ said, because even if you roast your body in the fire and distribute all your wealth to the poor, except you love one another even as he loves you, you have done nothing. He declared that his commandment is that you love one another as he loves you. It surprises me when I hear people say that God has ten commandments. 
God has only one basic commandment, and that is the love of one another as he loves us. He has said that he has not come to repeal the law of the prophets, but to, but to affirm. Love your neighbor as yourself is not a complete commandment. The same thing is applicable to the commandment that you honor your mother and father. Also incomplete is the commandment that you have no other God before him. To remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy is complete, is incomplete. Do not commit fornication and adultery. Do not be a false witness against your neighbor. Are incomplete commandments in themselves. But if you love everybody as God loves you, you have obeyed every other commandment. I have not come to teach you the history of religion, the Bible, how Abraham came to being, the story about Noah, or how God created man. I have not come for that. My mission is just for this one thing, to love one another. I have not come to teach you history, geography, mathematics, or any other mundane subject. I have come to remind you of the commandment given by our Lord Jesus Christ, that is, to love one another even as he loved us. God is love. God so loved the world that he sent down his only begotten Son to come and die so that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. This eternal life is for you to love one another as he has instructed so as to save yourself from eternal death. Whether you have money or children or are gainfully employed or if you are very healthy or ill, it has nothing to do with God. It is none of God's concern if you set about cutting and cleaning road or build a very big house because all these things had existed but love had never been in existence. If you go to America, France, Italy, Europe and the rest of the developed countries you will find their streets well kept and their environment well very neat. But since there is no love of God, have you not seen how the earth is covered with darkness? People have come, people have gone to the moon and the stars. They have studied science, have lived inside water and have done all sorts of things. But since there is no love, have they experienced peace, prosperity or salvation? Some people have studied the Bible scriptures and have got claims of degrees. These qualifications are of no use. The only required and good qualification is to love one another even as the Lord loves you. The position of a bishop, archbishop, pope, reverend, pastor, apostle or evangelist does not mean anything. Love one another as the Lord loves you is the only thing the entire world has to do. Love is the fulfilling of the law because if you love somebody, you cannot rob him. If you have love, you will not tell lies. You will cease to kill the moment you have love. If you have love, you will not harbor anybody in your mind. If you have love, you will not take any court action against anybody. You will no longer commit fornication and adultery if you have love. You will not commit any type of sin whatsoever throughout your life if you have love. You will not fight and will not slander or assassinate anybody's character if you have love. You shall 
plan no evil against anybody, shall not be angry, shall not be grudged, and shall not frown your face if you have love. If you love God, you will not fail to love every other person you see, because he said that any person who loves him shall keep his commandment. Therefore, if we claim we love God, we should love one another as he has commanded. God has no other law or commandment except the love of one another, even as he loves us. To say that you have not kept all the Ten Commandments of God is erroneous. God has only one commandment because he is just one God. God himself is love. Our Lord Jesus Christ is love and the Holy Spirit is love. Therefore, we have to abide in the love. Love is oneness, taking and regarding some other person as yourself. So, brethren, this is the only thing obtainable here, the only law in this kingdom. There is no other law. You say you are a crusader. If you do not have love one for another, as he has advice, your crusading does not mean anything. Remember what is said in Revelation chapter 2, verses 4 to 5. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Money is not our problem, neither is food, car, or house. Our problem is lack of love. It is said that we have graduated from death unto life because we love the brethren. That whosoever does not love is in debt up till now. There is no other person who has come to save the world except our Lord Jesus Christ. The whole world had been condemned to death because of lack of love. But today, Christ has brought you and I salvation. How many people have this salvation? Our Lord Jesus Christ has shown us the way he passed through in the scriptures. And apart from that path, any other path leads to perdition. He says, he is the way, the truth and the life that nobody can see the Father except through him, the Lord. Love is the eternal life. We long for eternal life, but refuse to love one another as the Lord loves us. We are looking for power, yet we refuse to love one another as he instructed us. We desire to get out of sickness and death, but we refuse to love everybody as he advises. Do you know that anybody who does not love his fellow brethren abides in death? Many people wonder and ask why a member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star should die. Why would he not die? Has he got love? Others ask why people die in their hundreds in the world. Have they this love? Do they love one another even as Christ loves us? It is said that the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. If we refuse to love our brethren, even as Christ loved us, we have to die. We had already died. It is Christ who has brought salvation unto us. Right from today that you are hearing this gospel, if you love one another, even as Christ loves you, you have graduated from death to life. 
He does not tell you to love one another so that you can be given money or so that you will be loved in return. The consequence of your love exercise according to the Lord is to enable you move from death to life. It is of no use to engage the services of a lawyer or doctor or to fast and pray when you do not love one another as God loves you. I do not know why this thing is hidden from the entire world. I have never told you that I am Jesus. I am neither Abraham nor a bishop or a pastor or God. I have only brought you this good news of great joy. It is the Father who speaks what he has spoken to remind you because this is the last generation. People are questioning why there are plenty of trouble, death, sickness and hunger despite the numerous churches. The reason is that the entire world has refused to obey the instruction of God. Others allege that they have prayed, fasted, gone on ministry work and have bathed in bear pan water, yet things are still abnormal. Have these persons loved their fellow brethren as God has commanded? I have been baptizing to brotherhood, yet my problems still increase every day. Now, when you were baptized, did you carry out the commandment of love one another? Has Christ not shown us that we should love our enemies and pray for their good and even those who curse and envy us? So that our Father in heaven may be glorified because he causes the sun to shine on the evil and the righteous and his rain to fall on the good and the bad. This is the good news I have brought unto the world. I do not want any position at all. I am not even qualified for any of the positions. Neither am I interested. But my interest is in loving one another as Christ has instructed. Call me Juju, Mermaid, Man, Beelzebub, Spirit, or whatever name you may wish to call. My work is to love all men as he has commanded. I am again reminding all angels and men that they have forgotten the advice that was given to them. It was because of love that our Lord Jesus Christ came down to the earth. It is also because of love that the Lord was nailed on the cross. He also rose up and ascended to heaven because of love. It is because of this same love that he promised he would not leave men desolate. He declared, it is finished, meaning hatred has gone and only love exists. Grace means love and we are living not under any law but love. Love one another, everybody whether white or black, man or woman, just love everybody that comes your way. For that is what this kingdom consists in. One thing I am adding to you because Christ said in a very brief way, but I am seriously explaining it more for your understanding. He has advised that we should call nobody teacher, that he is the only teacher and master. You are all brethren, but this also means that you are the children of God. But children of God, to what extent? He refers to the entire world. They are all the children of God because he did not die only for the whites or the blacks, but for the entire world 
so that we should become one in Christ Jesus. This is to fulfill his promise that the Comforter, when he comes, shall lead you to the accurate knowledge of truth. We are all children of God. Whether one is a Christian or Muslim or Hindu or even pagan does not matter. We all are the children of God. As a crusader and soldier of the Father, that is the news you have to go out and spread. All are the children of God. Then, since we are all the children of the Father, we are given the instruction that we should love one another even as he loved us. Therefore, brethren, you have to love anybody you see, even as Christ loves you. Be the person or be the person a woman or man, black or white, short or tall, thin or fat, you have to love everybody equally. That is all you have to do. To go around with a voluminous with a voluminous Bible and inscribing on it the name God or Jesus Christ or Apostle or a wonderful man means nothing. To cause the dead to rise or the lame to walk profit you nothing. Love is fundamental. It is not painful. This is the kingdom of love. There is no other thing that can be added to or subtracted from it apart from to love one another equally. Our Lord Jesus Christ has said that except your love exceeds that of the Pharisees and scribes, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. If you love only those who love you, what have you done that exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees and scribes. If you love only those who love you, you have not gone beyond what the thieves and the demons do. So brethren, the era of stubbornness has passed. This is the time for us all to submit and adhere to the instructions of truth. Our first lesson shall now be read.